Smartphones make it easier than ever to buy on the fly. But how do online stores know it's really you making those purchases? One of the challenges that online retailers, merchants, and especially in the financial uh, community have with online is the fact that you're not actually seeing that individual in real life. Don Duncan of New Data Security says patterns in our digital behavior can help online companies determine whether it's really us logging in or someone with stolen credentials. Looking at things such as when I enter information into the application, do I long press, short press? Do I use portrait or landscape? How do I hold the device in terms of proximity? These so-called passive biometrics can provide a more nuanced snapshot of customers using technology that's already built into mobile devices, like accelerometers and GPS. Geographic location is really the starting point to identify, you know, where is that user, where is the device connecting from. Unlike passwords or fingerprints, which have to be physically entered, passive biometrics work behind the scenes while users interact as they normally would. We have a few lines of code inside the web or mobile application, and all that does is provide us information from the device. We process it and return that intelligence back to the web or mobile application. Even factors like typing speed or the angle at which a phone is held can become authentication tools. And in the age of major data breaches, passive biometrics could mean merchants no longer have to rely solely on logins and passwords. New data is owned by MasterCard, which has already implemented the technology for its merchants. By not having a single data point for that validation, it allows us to provide risk or intelligence to the online brand. For users, a more secure online experience could be right at their fingertips. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.